kind of find it funny and ironic that the main person being punished for the whole Nintendo hacking is named Bowser. So this happened last year, February, where, where he was on a team that does mod kits, Team Executor, which does a lot of things, but the main thing being piracy, which Nintendo said costed them $65 million, with the actual name of the charge being conspiracy to circumvent technology measures and traffic circumvention devices and trafficking and circumventing devices. His punishment was a $14.5 million fine and 40 months in prison. And the reason why we're talking about it now is that he's out after a year and two months instead of the three years and four months because he got out on good behavior. But his punishment didn't stop there. As he got out of prison, Nintendo made it so that they can take 25 to 30 percent of his monthly gross income for the rest of his working life. So I'm guessing that when he retires, they'll stop. He's gonna be work so he's gonna be working for another ten years minimum since he's around fifty three, fifty four ish. With the supposed leader of Executor, Max, was sentenced to five years, eight months. Which personally I didn't really hear about. So I think most people just looked at the name Bowser, a Nintendo hacker, which is kinda of funny, ironic, and pretty on par with his name for what he does in games.